how are you? Let's get back into our episode today. Now, not much have happened in the last episode from only really leaving Ebony's birthday party to them going to a whole new party, which is the photo shoot that Augustus forced Ebony to do. So obviously there was a success in that photo shoot. So they end up having a party, but yet, I thought that everything was going smoothly, which everything was, until they left us off on something coming through everyone's cell phone. And I don't even know what it is. And you know, I don't like to not know what it is. So we're gonna find out this episode, what could possibly be so shocking that was sent to everyone's cell phone that have every everybody's mouth dropping and we're gonna get right into that. So we have now made it to episode 15 of this story. And the title of this story is, Where Have You Been All My Life? Um, She's been home with her mother. First she was born, she was a baby, a newborn baby, who drank milk, whether it was from mom or from a bottle. And then she grew up, she became a toddler. She learned different things like walking. You get where I'm going, right? that's where she's been all your life i'm assuming that that was linking asking that question so let's start <laughs> what's going on yes please show us we've been wanting to know and then her jaw drops before you freak out, it's not that bad. Um, Lincoln, what did you do? What did you do? You're saying it's not that bad, so obviously it's about you. Not that bad? Did you even read it? Read what? Lincoln's mystery girl, a fraud. Gold digger only after his fame. We got this inside scoop from a very relatable source. Why do I have a feeling it was Naomi or maybe Taylor? Nobody has even thought about Taylor since Lincoln, you know, you know what he did. So it could be to me, I'm going to, I got my two victims. Well, not victims. My two suspects are Naomi and Taylor. We're going to figure out who did it. Stupid rumors like that go around all the time. Only the people who don't know you will believe it. So the entire world. Uh, pretty much. What is this? I thought you were my new it girl. And I thought you two were the perfect couple. I never wanted to be it girl. And Lincoln and I are barely even a couple. Barely? No, I mean, we're not at all. You said, ba you, you said barely. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Okay, I get it, Lincoln. Look, Augustus, I'm sure you know that ridiculous rumor gets spread like this all the time. Actually, if I remember correctly, there was a rumor going around that you were buying knockoff designer clothes from some cheap, some creep in a back alley a few months ago. Now you tell us, is that true or not? Augustus, that's not true. Right, just like this isn't either. I see. Oh, now you see after he put your business out there. Now you see. Then we'll definitely have to set up the next photo shoot ASAP. We'll get everyone to think you're America's sweetheart again. Oh, Ebony's like, I cannot be bothered right now. Oh, this is perfect. I'm already imagining the dress you wear. Uh, We'll talk about that later. We have other things to figure out right now. Of course. Have your people... Call my people. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Augustus. And Ebony says she doesn't have people. She's not famous like Lincoln. At least not yet. 
It's going to be all right, pumpkin. I need a drink. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. The last time you had a drink, Lincoln had to come to the club and get you because you were dancing on the counters. No drink for you, baby girl. No drinks at all for Ebony. Jeremy! And he comes running. You know who's behind this, right? I figured she had something to do with it. So are we talking about Taylor? Or are we talking about Naomi? Which one? Tell her we're meeting tomorrow. I hope if it's Taylor, you're meeting tomorrow to fire her for this information she put on the whatever is that, the phone. We have things to discuss. Like firing her? I hope it's firing her, Lincoln, because if you don't do it, I will. I own you. I wanted to keep my composure in front of Ebony. I knew if I got upset, that would only make it worse for her. I mean, is it true that stupid rumors will come out like this all, all of the time? And if we're going to have a future together, it's something she should learn to just ignore. But this, this one is different. This has someone's name written all over it. And that certain someone did this to hurt Ebony. To hurt us. And I will not allow that. Not from her, not from anyone. Okay, who is her? Is it Naomi or Taylor? You're not telling me anything. You seem to be enjoying that drink quite a bit, Sweet Pea. I told you not to let Ebony get a drink. Do you know what's gonna happen if she gets drunk? Well, since there's only stupid rich people foods at this snack table, I'll have to resort to drinking my feelings instead of eating them. How about we talk about your feelings instead of eating and drinking them? I think that'll be a good idea because like I said, Ebony does not need a drink. We all know what happened last time. That doesn't sound like very much fun. What are you so worried about, love? What if people start coming up to me and harassing me in the streets? Will I have to start wearing a disguise? I've never even dyed my hair before. Well, I guess you're gonna start now. You're always overthinking, Pumpkin. Do you know how many terrible rumors have been spread about me? Just last year, some blog put out there that I was taking performance enhancing drugs. Um, it's not that bad. Or maybe it is, I don't know. You're not, are you? Of course not. But that could have ruined my career if I let it. That's why we can't give these things any attention <clears throat> it will all blow over this is all so crazy to me i never cared about people what people thought of me until you well would it help if i told you that i think you're the most incredible woman in the world um that might help her little heart a little bit lincoln but that's not that's like you, one person against millions of people who think she's bad now. And that I never believed those rumors for a second. Again, Lincoln, you're one out of a million. Don't think that's going to do much. Obviously, a little, she says. Hey, Link. I've been trying to get over to greet you guys, but I've been a little distracted. What? Distracted with what? Your phone? The news that just came through everyone's cell phone? That's what you're distracted for? Then understandable. Wait, have we met Leo? My brain. Leo, I'd like to introduce you to my girl, Ebony Sinclair. It's very nice to meet you, Ebony. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about you. Okay, now that's two out of a million. That'll make her feel just two times a little bit more better. I know that didn't make no sense, but who cares? 
See, not everyone listens to rumors. Or did he see the rumors? I'm pretty sure he hasn't yet. Nice to meet you too, Leo. I wanted to tell you how good you've been. You've been good. I Let me slow down. I wanted to tell you how good you've been. Good for Link. Make it make sense. I've noticed he's been playing harder since you've come around. Oh, so she she is his good luck charm. Are you saying I wasn't playing good before? No. That's exactly what he's saying. You know you're the best, but she's making you better. You're right about that. Well, that's good. At least she's not a distraction. Because, you know, distractions will cause them to lose a lot of gains. I think you both are giving me too much credit. I have nothing to do with Lincoln's football stuff. You don't know that. If he's playing better, it's only because he's working harder. Just as charming as your mother. You know her mother? I'm going to be so mad if she didn't get his number. You're going to the retreat coming up, right? Yes, she is. No, I'm not. Wait, what retreat? Every year, the team and some of their families go on a little vacation together. It helps boost their moral before we have to buckle down for a playoff. It's always a great time. You won't... You won't want to miss it. Hope to see you there. So, you had a birthday party. You're at a photo shoot party. And there's an another whole party to go to. So, let's just say, Ebony, your life was boring before. And now you're just going to be partying for the rest of your life. Because you know Lincoln. Let's just say that. That sounds like fun. And it will be even more fun with you by my side this year. Who said I'm going? Ebony, stop playing hard because you're going. Can, can we just get rid of the act now? It's like so, we're like way ahead in these episodes now. And you're still playing tough. It's done now. I did. I did. Um, let me say it right. I did. He said, he said, you're going. You have to, Pumpkin. And now he's axing after he just demanded that you're going. I won't be able to enjoy myself without you there. I don't know, Lincoln. Hey, those puppy eyes won't work on me. Thank you. <laughs> Please. Please. Now, why are we on Gemini? Like, how do we jump to Gemma after? Never mind. You have to go, Ebony. We'll have so much fun. Obviously, Gemma's going because she's still in this complicated relationship with. Now I can't even remember his name because he's not important anymore. I. And I need someone to keep me company when Marcus is busy. Oh yeah, right. Marcus is his name. I'm sure Alex would love to keep you company. You'll be fine without me. Um, Actually, you need to start talking to Alex, Gemma. Me, to be honest, will support that before I will support you and Marcus. Because, again, I don't like Marcus. We'll just say that Alex should keep you company. Oh, don't look too shocked. You already know the boy likes you. You've seen him looking at me too? He likes you, Jen. You think? Yes, now go. Dump Marcus and go to Alex. That's what I'm saying. Definitely. Well, I'm with Marcus, so it doesn't matter. You know you like Alex, girl. You know you like Alex, go. You know he can treat you way more better than what Marcus is doing. 
don't play. So what do you say? Will you go? Fine, whatever, I'll go. As long as you hurry up and get ready. Trust me, she won't be long. We're going to be late for work. Oh, we're getting dressed for work, not the party. There she is. What is this? That's her. I hope this is not about the rumor. Oh, you're going to make Ebony upset. No wonder she's after his money. Do you see her shoes? Yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to get to Ebony. Where the heck have you... Never call a woman out her name. Ben, do you see how crowded it is? Yeah, they're not here for books or reading. They're here for rumors. What are all these people doing here? They're here because of you. Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, not everybody knows you work at the bookstore. Lincoln, you're early. Yeah, Taylor, don't be acting like you... Don't act dumb. You did something bad. You better be... You better be getting fired right now. Or else we're going to have some problems with you too. Like we got problems with Marcus. And we're going to have problems with you. Because we... I'm having a feeling it was you. How, how was Augustus party? And you're stuttering. You did it. You're guilty. Guilty as charged. You're going to jail. Great. Until the entire party was notified of this week's rumor report. But I'm sure you know all about that. Oh yeah, she does. I warned you the last time you did this, Taylor. But I guess you didn't I'm supposed to say you didn't learn your lesson, but the word learn is not there. So, but I guess you didn't your lesson. I, did I say you can speak? That last rumor you put out almost turned my entire family against me. And now you're trying to run Ebony off? That's why you did this, right? All publicity is good publicity, Link. You know that. And if she could handle that, then she's definitely not the one for you. If she can't handle that, then she's not. Listen, Taylor, that's not up to you, okay? It is not up to you to test what Ebony is capable of. It's still, at the end of the day, not your place. You better be getting fired. Is that your excuse? My own publicist spreading lies about me that's not part of your job taylor in fact it's the complete opposite of your job it wasn't about you it was about that girl no it's about you because obviously we all know you are into lincoln lincoln is not into you and you don't like it it's all about you taylor her running off after this will only prove that she's not good for you, Link. And you think you are? Not. And those things in the articles aren't all lies. She probably is after your money. The girl does not care about Lincoln's money. Again, we all know this. Why did I hire you, Taylor? to keep your public affairs in order and to make sure you maintain a good public image. Okay, listen to what you just said. To maintain a good public image and yet you just put a bad image out there for him. Therefore, you should be fired. And I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna get over this until you're fired. Ah, so you do know what you're being paid for could have fooled me you're really upset over this no i'm beyond upset i'm done with you what 
please begin fire. Please begin fire. Please begin fire. You're fired. <sighs> Keep my composure. She's fired. You are supposed to have my best interests at heart. And that certainly isn't the case. So what the heck am I paying you for? You can't fire me. Oh, but he can. Because he's your boss. We're in the middle of game season and playoffs are coming up. Yeah, he'll find a new one. I thought I was more than just your publicist link. What more could you have been? What is on your mind? What did you think? Let, let me know. You're really going to throw me away like that? I would feel bad, but this isn't your first time pulling something like this. You had your second chance and it would be stupid of me to give you another. No one else in this industry can do what I've done for you. How do you think we got to be the face of New York athletes? Me, Lincoln. Who can do that for you? Who's going to be your publicist now, huh? Jeremy. Oh, I'm forgetting. Jeremy is a part of this. Therefore, he's losing nothing because Jeremy already been there. He knows what to do. Jeremy? Jer? Me? No, not me. Obviously not me. Him. He's your assistant. Therefore, he's perfect. He doesn't even have any experience, but he does have my best interests at heart. And that's worth much more than you and your stupid connections. This is a huge mistake, Lincoln. We'll be fed to the sharks. You'll be fed to the sharks. Link, are you sure about this? If you're up for it, I, I would be honored I won't let you down. Then it's settled. I have somewhere important to be. It was nice knowing you, Taylor. Actually, it wasn't. Oh, I should be, I, sh I should be like, what do you call those things that knows the future? Because I didn't even know he was going to say that, but yet he said it. We will not miss you, Taylor. Was this your plan all along, to weasel your way into my position? I had no idea he was going to do that. You'll ruin him. You're not cut out for this. Well, at least I know better than to put out nasty rumors about the one he loves. Ooh, don't tell Taylor that. He loves Ebony. That's going to set her off even more. He... He told you that he loves her? Ugh, please. He would never love you. Does it matter, Taylor? We both know he would never love you. I did not uh, I did not know Jeremy had this spice about him. Obviously, it's coming out. Jeremy is spicy. Yeah, be spicy. Since I've been promoted, I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to need you to send me all of his information. Best of luck. Um, I think you should just get his information from the source because Taylor might not do anything. And if you rely on her, nothing will be done. So go to Lincoln, get the information. Let's just start a new book. Just get your own notebook. Just start from fresh. You don't need nothing from her. Besides the keys to whatever that she has, you know, to office or something. Lincoln. Pumpkin. I'm so happy to see you. You won't believe the day I've had. Tell me about it. Ready for your next driving lesson? Oh, you're going driving again? Right now? But what about my scooter? Don't you think he'll get jealous? Scooters don't have feelings, sweet pea. This one does. Well, because is it because it's a dude? Just come on. 
Oh, she's coming. She had a good time driving this Jeep last time. She's coming. You're unnatural. You don't even need my help anymore. Do you think I'm ready to... Do you think I'm ready to get... The word get is not there, but that's what's supposed to be there. My driver's test now? Yeah, with a little more practice, I think you'll pass without a problem. I can't believe I'm driving and I'm good at it. I can't believe you went that long and did not. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure there's still people out there that's already in their older age do not know how to drive. Nothing wrong with that. You probably just never had time. But it's always good to know because you don't want to rely on the buses and the and the Ubers. I would have never done this without you, Lincoln. Your mom would never have, because we all know your dad wasn't there, but your mom never had time to like sit down and say, hey, Linda, let's go driving. No, you just need a little push. Take a left at the at their, uh, take a left at the next corner. Where are we going? Why are we taking a left? <gasps> he had prepared a picnic for them too. Must be their second date. Well, she's happy about it. What's this? Our second date. And she's not yelling about it this time, obviously. But you yelled about the first date. And he called this one a date, so you know it's a date. So she's allowing it. That's a good thing, right? And he's staring at her eating. What? Do I have sandwich on my face? No. You're perfect. Then why are you staring at me like that? Because you're perfect. You know, at first I thought what I felt for you was just lust. I was so attracted to you at the wedding that I couldn't think straight. But when we talked, it became clear to me that it wasn't just your beauty that had me so drawn to you. You were so different from what I'm used to. You had me showing up to your house and work, doing crazy things I never do. I thought that lust turned into some weird obsession. Either that or you were some goddess from the underworld who put a spell on me. Really? But then I realized it's something else. What is it? I can't tell you, Pumpkin. Then why did you bring it up? You can tell me anything, Lincoln. Not this, Sweet Pea. Not this. Why not? I don't understand. I don't understand either, Ebony. Why bring it up, but you can't tell her? And you can't even tell me? I'm not Ebony. Tell me at least. Because I'm not ready to let you go yet. What are you talking about? And I know if I tell you this, you'll run. Is it that bad? You'll run away and never come back. What can it, okay, now you have me curious. What can it possibly be that is so bad that would make her run? Lincoln, please tell me. Do the little mind talking thing so she won't know. Let me know. I won't run. I'm, I'm gonna come back next week. And I'm not ready for that. I don't think I'll ever be ready for that. Lincoln, I'm not going to leave you. <gasps> promise? She promised. If she's letting you feel, if she's letting her feelings out right there, she promised. Trust me. I promise. I wish it was easier for me. I wish I could let you let you let me what say it sweet pea nope you didn't say what you wanted to say i wish i could let you she, she wants to say love i'll i'll tell you 
Now, how is going to rain? The forecast didn't say it was raining today. Crap, I forgot an umbrella. Scared of a little rain quarterback? No. Obviously, he's scared to get his curls messed up. You know, it's okay to let loose every once in a while. You don't always have to be Mr. Big Shot quarterback. So we're just going to sit here in the rain. No, we're going to dance in the rain. Dance? Come on, quarterback. Have some fun with me. That's why he loves her. Well, she can't even say the word. We ran wild through the rain without a care in the world. Laughing, dancing, happy and free in a little land of our own. Joy running through my veins as the rain soaks my skin. I stand still for a second, breathing in the scent of the fresh rain and wet grass, listening to the harsh rhyme of the rain hitting the lake water, taking in the beauty all around me. I inhale deeply as I allow my emotions to take over. In this moment, I feel so much peace, so much love. I get distracted when I feel the intense gaze on me that I've become all too familiar with. I look over to the handsome quarterback who's turned my life completely upside down. I watch as the rain drops, slip and slide down his face. He's completely drenched, looking even more tempting than usual. He catches me staring and takes it as an invitation to get closer. A craving consuming his eyes as he pulls me into him. The instatable look in his icy blue says that he's hunger for me. But that gorgeous grin on his face says that he's happy with me. And that's all that matters. That's all I want from him. He deserves that so much. He deserves to be happy. Where have you been all my life? And there goes the title of this episode. And I had I had a feeling that this time it was going to be Lincoln saying it because he's been always obsessed with Ebony. I wouldn't have thought that Ebony would have said it. Right here. Yeah, all the best things are usually right under your nose. No, like I said, she was born from her mom. She she was a newborn. And then, you know, she was drinking milk from her mom. or You know what I mean. But I should get you home. I don't want you sick before the retreat. I didn't tell you that I was going. Oh, you're going. I will throw you over my shoulder and carry you onto the plane if I have to. Oh, she would love that. You're right. We should get home. You can't catch a cold either. Don't you have a game coming up? Now you're keeping track of my games. I told you it wouldn't be long before you couldn't resist me anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be full of yourself, quarterback. Come on. I'm driving. Well, now that she can drive, you can relax. You have a free driver. I was reluctant to believe it before. Even though deep down I knew it was true, I guess if I really have to admit it, I was scared to. He loves you. That's probably what he wanted to say. He love you, and if he tells you he love you, you'll get scared and run away and probably never come back. Because of the L word. Scared because this feeling is so new and foreign to me. Scared because I knew that she wouldn't be ready to accept it. But I know now more than ever that she is the light to my dim life. She is the melody that keeps my heart beating. She is the bright sun to my dark moon. We get it, Lincoln, we get it. And I am without a doubt, uncontrollably and unconditionally, completely and utterly 
we get it. In love with Ebony Sinclair. And there you go. Lincoln is in love and now he wants Ebony to be in love with him too. He's in love. L-O-V-E. Now, how are you going to tell Ebony that? Oh, you're not because she might run away. Mom, are you wearing my dress? I, uh, I just wanted to try it on. Don't be mad at mom. She's probably going on a date with Leo. I'm assuming. I felt so beautiful at the party the other night with Ebony's clothes on. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'll take it off. Reassure her that it's okay and, she's, and she looks beautiful to her that she should buy her own dresses. Um, that's not Ebony, so we're going with the first option. No, Ma, leave it on. You should keep it. It looks amazing on you. There, that's the daughter Ebony is. I think it might be time for me to start going or doing some things for myself for once. I haven't felt good enough in a very long time. And I miss that feeling. I miss feeling wanted. Ma, you are so wanted. Even if it's not by dad, you'll find someone who cherishes every piece of you. I just know it. Just like you, right? Um, what? Even after everything that happened with Connor, you still found someone who adores you. Yeah, I guess you're right. He doesn't adore me. Um, if you say he doesn't adore you, that'll be lying. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. That gives me hope, honey. Maybe I'll find my Lincoln Fox one day. Maybe you already have. I saw you flirting with Leo at the party. Oh, um, you saw? He made me feel a lot of things I haven't felt in a very long time. Go for it, Ma. Lincoln said he's a great guy. So I probably should stop ignoring his phone calls? Yeah, that's what we're saying, Mom. You've been ignoring him? I'm still married, Ebony. No, no. You might be married on papers, but we know you're not married. Dad is doing nothing but holding you back. You better forget about him and start living your best life. Now go call Leo right now. You're right, honey. Now, how about you take some of your own advice and stop letting your pain hold you back? Yeah, take your own advice, Ebony. How about that? You know where I got that from. Love you, sweetheart. She loves you too, even though she didn't say it back. It is now a nightfall. The moon is shining bright, even though I did not see a moon. But it's there, shining bright. Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Are we saying things three times now? What, pumpkin? Tell me. You're talking to a newly licensed driver. Oh, she got her license. How I'm proud of you. You passed? Well, don't sound so surprised, quarterback. I did have a great teacher. I'm so proud of you. I knew you can do it. I don't know what you were so worried about. So, are you in some fancy hotel in Texas? Wow, you, you even know what team I'm playing against. Doesn't this mean I can count on you watching tomorrow? Of course, haven't you realized by now? I'm your lucky charm. Technically you are. That you are love. That you are. I miss you. I miss you too. 
She's finally letting her feelings flow after 15 whole episodes. <sighs> Do you have to go? I mean, I know you need your rest for tomorrow, but I, I don't want you to go. I'm not going anywhere, Pumpkin. Tell me more about the test. You're going to have him tired. And then he's going to fail to play great tomorrow. And it's going to be your fault. I didn't even see what happened. Or maybe she was just silently telling him about the test. Ma, hurry. The game's starting. That is a big bowl of popcorn. Are you sharing with me, Ebony? Okay, okay. I'm coming. Yeah, sit your butt down. Have some popcorn. The game is starting. The back of that jersey says Fox. Oh yeah, it's Lincoln's old one. I thought wearing it might give him some extra luck. He gave it to you? Well, he let me wear it. I just decided that I wasn't giving it back. Um, I'm pretty sure he gave it to you from what I can remember. Now why would the jersey be green? Are you saying that the team's color used to be green? Because they're definitely wearing red right now. Go, quarterback, go! He's going fast as he can. Oh, well, somebody got knocked out. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Leo is the coach. Did I not already know that? Is Link okay? Yeah, it looks like he's down. Crap, just what I need. Oh my gosh, what happened? Is he hurt? Come on, quarterback, get up. He might be hurt. Link, bro, you all right? He was hit pretty hard, coach. He's not responding. We need a medic. Oh, Lincoln is knocked out. So our quarterback has just been knocked out. Let me stop this. Lincoln is hurt. Now, if you, we're not saying that you're not his good luck charm, um, Ebony, but some games do tend to be not all good but lincoln is hurting this one and he's passed out will he be okay well we all know he's going to be okay but let's just hope he doesn't forget or had had a head injury or something that made him just forget all about what he worked for with ebony and then she would have to go and i'm going too far maybe i'm i'm, I'm just i'm i'm being too dramatic right now that's not happening Anyway, let's, um, that was the end of this episode. It was not as crazy, but it was juicy. I'm glad that Taylor is fired now because all she was going to do is continue to go. Now, let's just hope that is the end of Taylor. She got fired. Let her not make any more mess of anything. Jeremy has taken her place. Let's just hope she's done there. We haven't seen Naomi causing problems anymore. That is a good sign. We're not saying that she might not come back somewhere. Because we didn't know that Jeremy kind of slide out there that Lincoln loves Ebony to Taylor. So that's why I was just saying that she might come back. But anyway, that was the end. If you did like this episode... Give this video a like. It will help my channel out so much. Don't forget, become a rare breed. I'm looking for a whole new rare breed family. I'm just, everybody just get together. You are a rare breed. You know it. Hit the subscribe button. And when you do hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell button so you won't miss another juicy story.